scan the internet and you're bound to see racial pride hashtags and movements. But there's still one pride movement that's considered a serious faux pas. Can you guess which one? Haha, <laughs> yeah, you bet I can. And by the way, don't use the word faux pas, I just, uh... Hashtags like Reclaim the Bindi, Black Girl Magic, Asian Girls Unite, Native Awesome, and Latina Tuesdays are movements created for and by people of color to promote representation, self-love, and solidarity. But it seems that whenever marginalized people- Hold on, I'ma let you finish, but those people don't look very marginalized to me. People create spaces to celebrate themselves, the majority groups get a little uncomfortable. Oh, well, good thing white people happen to be a minority here in Memphis. Also, love that depiction of white people as boring and gray. I find it interesting that she calculates self-value and the ability to have pride in yourself based on how many people around you have the same color of skin. Now, I'm a computer, so I don't really understand the whole being proud of your race thing, but humans are gonna be humans. But I can't have white pride. Isn't that just taking pride in my culture? Yes, exactly. I love the new you. Well, not exactly. Oh, darn. Here's why white pride is very different from other kinds of pride. Of course, white people can't have any fun. Again, judging people by the color of their skin. One, whiteness and white culture are already everywhere. And there's no problem with that. There's a heavy amount of black culture too for the amount of population they are. Almost every aspect of our schooling and upbringing in America centers around whiteness. Ha! <laughs> you must have been homeschooled then. People of color in history are regularly whitewashed or erased altogether, like Elizabeth Taylor playing Cleopatra, or Ben Affleck playing Tony Mendez, a Latino man in Argo. Heck, almost any movie set in Egypt! The reason why more white people are cast in these kinds of roles is because if they look close enough to what they're trying to look for, perfect! There are a lot more white actors out there to choose from. There simply aren't very many Egyptian actors. Historically, being white or looking white has been prioritized as the standard. Exactly. That was a historical problem. It's no longer an issue. If you look at almost any TV show, you'll find that there are black people, Hispanics, everybody except white people being represented even more than their population percentage is. Number two, for communities of color, pride is about visibility. For a large part of American history, it was perfectly legal for people of color to be treated as second-class citizens. You black supremacists have absolutely no rationale behind your thought. You just simply live in the past. Remember, not too long ago, black people couldn't legally live in certain neighborhoods or go to certain schools. And as recently as the 1940s, it wasn't uncommon to see armed police officers dragging Native American children to European-style boarding schools. Your problem is that you're calling the 1940s recent in racial history. The fact is, nothing like this is even close to being possible in modern law. Stop living in the past. Black pride, native pride, and other racial pride movements are an act of defiance in an oppressive culture that says being different, or not white, is wrong. Are you kidding me? Oppressive society? Seriously, get out of the 60s. Nowadays, we disproportionately celebrate people for not being white. People exactly like you are the same exact people running the media. Oh wait, you're from MTV, aren't you? Number three, white pride has almost always been synonymous with white supremacy. Just like black pride has oftentimes been linked to black supremacy. Take, for instance, the Black Panther movement or Black Lives Matter. Before you go too far down the road thinking white pride is just like any other racial pride, you might want to see who built that road and who likes to hang out there. Before you get too far down the road of black pride, you might want to take a look at who built that road and who likes to hang out there. But others, like the Illini White Student Union, just wanted to confront Black Lives Matter protesters and even called on students to report suspicious black activity on campus. And thank God somebody's actually doing something about that. Good on you guys. I'm not a white supremacist, I just want to celebrate my white heritage. Well, I hate to break it to you, but... Number four, whiteness itself is a moving target that's main purpose has been to exclude. Well, I'm pretty sure we all agree on what it means now, don't we? 
Look, everyone should be allowed to have pride in who they are, but it's important to understand that the term white pride comes with a lot of baggage. Baggage I'm willing to deal with. White pride. And when people experience oppression for who they are, loving yourself and taking pride in who you are is a revolutionary act. Yet I'm not allowed to do it just because of the color of my skin. So what are some ways that you celebrate your heritage? Well, since you asked, two ways. One, naming my YouTube channel The Tennesseans, and the other, this. White pride. 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 Thanks for coming over to Tennessee for a little while, and come back next time I make a video. Hope you had fun here, and we'll take some more time tearing apart black supremacists and other SJWs. See you next time. In our American city. <laughs>